What's going on YouTube? GSNorid here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to save the blobs for iOS 12.4.1 and iOS 13 for future downgrades and of course future jailbreak. Now if you are jailbreaking your device this is a very important step because iOS 12.4.1 will be unsigned soon once 13.1 comes out on September 30 so I definitely advise you to save your blobs because these will allow you to downgrade or restore in the future in case you bootlip your device and of course you lose your jailbreak. This way you can downgrade back to the same version even if it's no longer signed. Now in this video I'm going to show you two different methods to do this. The first one is an online method called TSS Saver which I always show in my videos is very good and it saves the blobs online so this is actually quite good but also I'm going to show you a tool that you can use on your Mac or Linux and of course this one doesn't save online it saves them locally on the computer and you're able to use this one in case the other one the TSS Saver is down or any other problem so I'm going to show you how to do that but in order to do that both of them require to have what is called an ACID. Now the ACID is a number unique to your device so you can find it in iTunes if you go ahead in here for example this one is my iPod Touch. You press in here and you can see that it shows you the uh, model in here, iPod 7.1, which will be required in the other method. And of course, we're going to have to take the ACID. So we press a couple more times. And this one is the ACID. Now, a misconception that I often hear is that you have to update to whatever is the version you're trying to save the blobs for. That is fortunately not true. I'm running 12.2 on this device and I'm jailbroken. And I want to save the blobs for iOS 12.4.1, but I do not have have to update the 12.4.1 to do that so I don't have to lose my jailbreak to save the blobs. Now once you get the ACID you can paste it in here if you're using this website, select your device type, in my case it's an iPod and is the iPod Touch 6th generation and of course complete the CAPTCHA in here. After you do that you press submit and it should automatically give you a link which is this one in here. So as you can see there are a couple of weird ones in here saved from previously back on um, February when they had a problem but there's also 12.4.1 and this is what interests me in here. As you can see I've been saving my blobs since iOS 10.2 which is actually quite good because this means that I can downgrade in the future if a method appears for 10 or iOS 11 and so on but this also means that if I lose my 12.2 jailbreak I can do a future restore with the program future restore and using that blob in there I can go back to 12.2 even though it's not been signed for a couple of months now. So the 12.4.1 folder contains a couple of more folders in here for a couple app nonces and the no app nonce folder in here which contains the blob so I definitely recommend you to save them but if you do not want to use the online method and you have a Mac or Linux, you can use TSS Checker which is created by Timstar. You can download it from here, it's no longer supporting Windows unfortunately, so only Mac OS and Linux, so I'm going to show you how to use it on a Mac. You need Terminal for this and I have it in here and you need to download the folder in there and uh, this one contains both the Mac OS and Linux binary. Now all you have to do is to drag it and drop it in here and of course I'm going to make this one bigger. You can see that the program runs and it gives you the parameters that it accepts. So to save the blobs we have to call it again and we have to pass a couple of parameters to it. So the first one is dash D which is basically for device model and in this case it's iPod 7 comma 1 and then of course we have to pass the iOS version for which we want to save the blobs 12.4.1 in my case. Then of course you have to pass the um, dash E command for the ACID and of course you get it from iTunes and I'm going to paste it in here. Make sure that is the correct ACID. The blobs are tied to the ACID which is your device's unique number so you cannot use my blobs or somebody else's blobs because they will have a different ACID. The same thing goes if you mistype your ACID in here so make sure you get it right. Then of course we have dash S for saving and that's mostly it. We can go ahead and save the blobs now. So I'm going to press enter and that's basically going to download whatever is necessary and of course it's going to save the blobs for me. Now do not worry if you see a couple of errors that might appear it's normal and I do have them from time to time. What is important is to have the blobs saved in the end. So as you can see I'm getting a couple of errors in here but it said saved shsh blobs and of course iOS 12.4.1 is signed. The program saves the blobs on the user folder on a Mac, so just now in here, you can see that I have a file in there which is basically the blob file and if I open it with Xcode or whatever you're going to see that it actually is a valid blob. So the files are saved locally and if you lose them 
you're not going to be able to downgrade. So as you can see, it contains whatever a normal blob would contain, and the generator in this case is this one in here. So yeah, the same thing goes for iOS 13. For the uh, online method, that one would save anything that is signed automatically, so you don't have to specify. And for this one in here, you would just have to do the same procedure again, but you're going to have to replace the uh, i 12.4.1 with i13 in here. So that is going to save for 13. But this device doesn't have iOS 13 for it. It's an iPod Touch 6 and it doesn't support it. So yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you save the blobs. They are very, very useful for downgrades and restores if you bootloop your device on a jailbroken firmware in the future. So take the extra minutes to save them right now while 12.4.1 is still signed because it's not going to stay signed for so long. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, peace out.